Hey, welcome back. On this video, we'll go over the Redux Toolkit Create Slice function. This function automatically generates action creators and action types that correspond to reducers and state. By using this approach, we'll see how much boilerplate we can eliminate and also makes it less prone to errors. The way we're going to learn about it is by refactoring our expenses reducer file of our expenses.frontend project. I'll make sure to have a link to the repo in the description. If you want to follow along with your own project, as long as you have Redux Toolkit installed, you should be able to. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Right now I have opened the expenses.frontend project in Visual Studio Code, and we're looking at the expenses reducer file. This is the file we're going to be refactoring using the create slice function. This file contains the initial state and the initial state has an array of expenses and that's pretty much all it has. We have the action types and the action types has set expenses. This is when the program first loads, it just sets all the expenses that are left in the database currently. We have a new expense whenever a new expense is created, edit expense and delete expense. Then we have our action creators and lastly we have our reducer logic. Let's start off by creating our expenses slice.js file. So let's right click on app, click on new file and type in expenses slice.js. Our refactor code will go inside this file and this is where we're going to make use of that create slice function. And it's called slice because essentially what we're doing is updating one specific slice of the state tree. In our case, we're updating the expenses slice. But for example, we could have other slices like the user slice. I'm going to do a split, right? Just so we have a better view of the code. Let's start off by importing create slice from Redux slash toolkit. The create slice function will return us an object with our actions and reducer. Let's go ahead and do export const expenses slice equal to create slice. And we're going to pass in an object. Now this object will include the initial state, the name of this slice of the state and the reducers. Let's start off with the name. You can call it expenses and the initial state will be just the same. It's just an object with a list of expenses. Pretty simple so far. Now let's add the reducers. reducers. Now the keys in the object will be used to generate the string action type constants. This way we avoid having to write those separately. So let's start off with the first one, set expenses. So we're going to type set expenses and this will take state and action. And this will return essentially the same thing we have here. Actually, I'm going to copy this line, copy this and paste it here. And you can start to see how useful this is. We don't have to write action types, action creators, and then have a switch. We can just write the key and pass in state action and then do whatever we have to do with state and return it. Let's move on to the next one, new expense. We're gonna do new expense. We'll pass in a state, an action. And we'll return exactly the same thing right here. Now let's move on to edit expense. Pass state and action. And let's go over to edit expense and copy all this stuff. For better practice, let's change this to const. And now to the last one, delete expense. in state and action and we go to the expense copy this stuff and we change this to const and we're pretty much done with the reducers object so like I said the create slice function returns the actions and the reducers so let's make sure we export that so we can do export const set expenses new expense, edit expense, delete expense, 
and this will be equal to expenses. I have an extra space. Expenses slice dot actions. Perfect. Now let's do export default expenses slice that reducer. We finished writing our slice, so now let's make sure we integrate it properly and test it and make sure it works. Let's head over to our store.js file and make sure we're using the slice. So right here, let's change this from reducer to slice. Slice. Actually, I'm going to copy this, paste it, paste it. There you go. And now we will have to update the code everywhere we're using the action types. And also, if we're pulling the state using the use select hook, we'll have to change from expenses reducer to expenses slice. In our case, I will be in the expenses.js file and the expense list.js file. Let's go ahead and open that up. Services, expenses.js. And right here, instead of doing this import, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to do import, set expenses, new expense, edit expense and delete expense. We'll do from, this will be app expenses slice. Now let's make sure we update that in dispatch. So basically just gotta get rid of action creators that, get rid of that. And save that file. And let's go to expense list and update this from expenses reducer to expenses slice. Save this file and let's make sure we run the application and that everything is working properly. Okay, now that our app is up, let's try to do an edit, save that and edit it. Nice. Credit card, $1, add, there you go. And if we look at our dev tools, we can see now that we have this slice name slash and then our action it's safe now to go back and just delete that file we don't need anymore the expenses reducer and with this we have reached the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed it and got to see how easy it is to use the create slice function how much boilerplate we get rid of and also possible typos if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you all in the next one